Hai, saya Gigi dan ini Style District. Terima kasih kerana menonton Style District minggu ini. Jadi kita akan terus ke segmen pertama. Di segmen pertama kita tampilkan model yang semakin meningkat naik dan juga merupakan Glam Next model Natasha Nor. Jadi kita kenali Natasha di segmen Persona. Hi, my name is Natasha Nor and I'm a model. I think my height is around 172, 173, something like that, and my weight right now is um, 49. Start jadi model. Okay, first is when I belajar dulu, I started with small catwalks, and then tak fokus pun sebab uh, that time I was still studying. So after that, I entered a competition which is uh, Malaysia Supermodel Search, uh, time to tahun 2015. And then uh, after that, I try my luck on a Glam Next Face competition. That time I was just finished my study. I just try lah and then tak sangka dapat. First thing about being a model, yang best here is you get to try a lot of different styles. Macam hairstyles and sometimes ada style yang you tak tahu yang you sesuai dengan style tu. And then uh, easy money. Cabaran yang orang tak tahu as a model is sometimes okay, kita kena tebalkan muka, tebalkan kulit sebab kadang-kadang um, klien nak macam contohlah I have macam certain um, designers or client, they orang macam tak suka tengok tinga. Sometimes they take my ear, and uh, so that yang orang tak tahu lah pasal model. Another one is waiting game, the waiting game. They don't know the that we do nothing. Sementara tu mukayer, semua actually it's all about time. My idol in fashion industry is um, Tunku Azura. Our supermodel and also Tini and all our trios like Rita Sraya, Tuti and Atika Karim. My current obsession right now is uh, Frank Ocean, which is a singer that I really, really love. And Mom Jeans is my current obsession right now. Um, I actually tak ada specific favorite brand, tapi I just uh, bila I suka baju tu, tak kisah ada brand apa, I will buy it because tengoklah kalau sesuai, you just buy okay, it. Okay, yang penting after work, after makeup, memang kena cuci and every night have to cuci, cuci, don't forget. Don't be lazy sebab bila you malas, memang ha, naik semua. So, uh, um, my beauty remedy tak adalah remedy kan, tapi just toner, moisturizer, cleansing tu semua very important lah. And then eat clean. Maybe before 30, my bucket list. Okay, first, I betul-betul sangat nak cuba pottery. Pottery. And then, I nak try bungee jumping. And then, the third one is not short term, but I think it's long term, more than 30 years. Um, I nak master a new language. Alright, my favorite fashion trend will be first, uh, masa dulu, cawawa sikit. I think the choker, and then the ripped jeans, and then the mom jeans. Okay, um, first one is um, the uh, the places that yeah I really want to go is first Venice, Italy, and then Japan. Okay, reason I want to go to both places is first Venice is a very romantic place to go, especially with your loved ones or friends, whatever. And second one is Japan. I is not so big about bandar to bandar technology. I think my favorite emoji I selguna is the jeling one, and then the nagis one. <laughs> you know the professor that likes men do? Yeah, I want to be him, the professor, because I can able to read minds and I can do anything with my power just by thinking on one. Okay, 
Okay, um, I want to thank you to all my supporters yang I tahu, yang I tak tahu or the one that indirectly supporting me after all this time. Very thank you very much. And I really appreciate everything. So, thank you. Ha, seterusnya kita akan ke segmen deko. Menariknya segmen deko kita tampilkan Hakim Rahman. Hakim akan meninjau uh, dekorasi hiasan dalaman di Common Ground. Apa tu Common Ground? Saksikan segmen ini. Hai untuk segmen deko kali ini ada bersama saya Hakim Rahman dan saya kini berada di Common Ground. Apakah itu Common Ground? Common Ground ini adalah kawasan perkongsian tempat kerja ataupun co-working space. Dan kalau kita dapat lihat, ya, apakah sebenarnya Common Ground ini? Kita bersama sendiri dengan breaker dalam Common Ground, Andrian Rizal. Hi Andrian, how are you? Good, thank you. I can smell the coffee. I thought this is a co-working space, but I can smell the coffee here. Yeah. What is what? Where? Where are we now? We're at the entrance of um, the co-working space. Mm -hmm. We're greeted by the cafe area. Mm -hmm. We've got a coffee bar on that side, oh, led yes. by um, Daniel Naim, who owns oh. Legal Captain. Um, so the members of this space could enjoy um, good coffee and pastries. It's part of the culture and the lifestyle that you get from working in this space. Yeah, so we are at the members' entrance and these rooms are actually the private suites mm -hmm. where a small startup company can rent like a four-man room or a two-man room depending on their needs. The concept of this space is we try to create space where people could feel comfortable working. It is slightly corporate, but at the same time it has to have that um, comfort, coziness and cool factor all in one. I think interior design plays a huge role because mm -hmm. the environment that you're at will influence how you think and how you behave. And I feel for people who do work in these spaces, they want to work in a place where it's conducive, they want to collaborate. Um, before we started renovating this space or even started conceptualising, we visited several other co-working spaces overseas and we did a lot of research and we realised that two different types of cooking spaces. Mm -hmm. One super casual, very artsy, and the other one very rigid, very almost very posh, very hotel-like. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to marry the two. I guess when it comes to the Scandinavian element, it's always resonated well with my aesthetics, because I do like um, Scandinavian designs, and whatever I do, there's always that element in it. It's mm -hmm. like a signature of sort. And I also like a lot of plants. As you can see, there's a lot of greens. I like that sense of serenity and bringing, a, bringing an element of nature in the space. Yeah. The other options is, let's say if you're one person, you're a freelancer, and you don't want to commit to a room and you don't need that much space, mm -hmm. this area is called um, the hot desk area. So hot you desk. are able to sit anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. You still pay for the membership. So there are plug points, uh, you can still use all the facilities, mm -hmm. but this is where you will work, be working from. You can even sit anywhere, as long as it's not taken by someone else. Oh. And these people don't really know each other, it was like they, they just... They do. Uh, they do. Most of the people here end up being best friends, they start hanging out, so that's what we wanted, to create a community. My favourite spot is actually where we are at right now. So yeah. This is called the laundry. We are at the highest spot in the co-working space and at the very end of the corridor. 16 and, Yes, and we overlook one of the best views. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the towers from here. And members are allowed to use this space to mm -hmm. chill, to have their, their own little meetings. Well, my general advice for designers who do want to embark on their career would have been um, do lots of research. I think a lot of students these days are just so um, in their own box mm -hmm. and having a preconceived idea what things need to be. So they just need to be open-minded and travel and yeah. see the world. See the world, yes. Mm -hmm. Much ideas are everywhere. And I, my last uh, tip would be, I do believe that it's too much of a good thing, it's a bad thing. So always have a sense of restraint and not try to do everything in one space and they won't have all the ideas in the world but you just, you've got to know how to limit and edit, and that's how the space could be really good. 
So, we did fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, Aiden. Thank, thank you for you. showing us this place. Uh, I really like it. So, maybe I can come here. You should get a space. Working a space. <laughs> I should. I should rent a space here. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Aiden Rizal. Uh, itu tadi. Aiden Rizal mereka dalaman bagi a common ground, a co-working space. Ha, seterusnya, baru-baru ini, Arkidex iaitu pameran yang menggabungkan arkitek dan interior designer telah mengadakan satu pameran di KL Convention Center dan antara yang menyertai pameran itu adalah jenama bilik air Roka. Dan apa yang menarik, Roka berkolaborasi dengan jenama fashion antarabangsa Jojo Armani. Kita saksikan segmen Nuansa. Hi, my name is Joseph Delicado. Um, I'm the managing director of uh, Roca Malaysia and Singapore. So Roca uh, introduced uh, the first models in Malaysia in the year 2007, and during the last 10 years uh, has been growing. And we are very glad that now we can say that we are working with the main architects and the main developers in, in the whole Malaysia. Uh, the collaboration with uh, Giorgio Armani uh, group of companies uh, started in 2011 and uh, at that year we have launched our first collection of products and now we are introducing uh, in Southeast Asia, in Architects, the second collection. The old collection is called Baya and it's quite interesting because uh, not only in terms of design and technology of the products um, it's very, very special in terms of the finishes, like we will introduce, I will introduce to you now, uh, especially um, pieces uh, like a special finish in gold, gold finish in matte, or even simulating the texture of the leather. We have also introduced a metallic, a metallic finish, or like titanium, so what is the beauty of this bathtub? This bathtub is especially um, made in a new material called Surfex. Uh, it's a very warm touch. You can see all the edges. And another characteristic of this bathtub is coming together with a thermostatic uh, filler. So this, this special um, piece is a fully brass uh, chrome and has a special cartridge that uh, when you set the temperature, uh, maintains automatically, even uh, if you change the, the flow of, uh, and the pressure of the net, uh, maintains the, the temperature and, and the flow. So this, uh, we were very proud because uh, we have been awarded as a, one of the best products in, uh, in Archidex and um, has been created a lot of interest uh, through our local uh, and international architects. And I'm happy that we are starting now to specify the projects. Ha, itu saja paparan menarik untuk minggu ini. Thank you for watching. Nantikan saya minggu hadapan 11.15 pagi setiap Ahad. Saya Gigi Ahmad, Style District signing out. Bye.